So a while ago, I uh, years ago, I mean, maybe it's two years now, I'm working on this project. I've redesigned it. I've redesigned. I've 3D printed more parts. Is now a belt-driven actuator. Before it was a servo motor actuator that would lift it up. There's video of this thing being installed in my car already. Um, so I've redesigned it. I've redesigned new circuit boards. Here's the new circuit boards. Uh, it's got the little RTD2 logo on them. Uh, new circuit boards in there. It's all programmed, ready to go. I'm going to hit the power button. The first thing you're going to notice is the startup sound. This is when the car starts. R2 will pop up. Then we're going to go into laser detection. Then radar detection. And then every five minutes or so he'll he'll uh, say hello. Simple as that. Um, so this guy will be interfacing with my radar detector that's in my car. So if police are running radar, he's gonna pop up out of the dash. And let me know. Uh, if a laser hits every once in a while, a laser hits my radar, it'll pop up. It'll play a different sound. And it'll let me know. <clears throat> I will also have four buttons interfaced with him so that I can trigger him at will if I need to, like show him off. Somebody wants to see hey, is that R2 because there are geeks out there that like me that like R2D2. This guy sits right in my dash. There's a video on YouTube of this working in my dash um, previously, years ago. But now I'm I'm focused on getting this back installed. So that's the update. This is update number four for our 2D2 project in the radar detector.